This 10 second sequence of the completed animation is designed to help you decide if our demonstration is likely to be of interest. If it is, please stay with us. We start by opening our still editor where we have a pre-prepared image of a colour background complete with rails and the central pipe. We're going to add a snapshot of the pump house taken from the original video. The snapshot is dragged onto the background. It's much too big, so we resize to fit. Now that it's the correct size, all that's left is for it to be straightened and our background is complete and we can save it to file. Still in Photoshop, we open a blank canvas and from the Shapes menu, select a broad arrow. It's quick and easy to turn 180 degrees and resize it. Once the preparation is complete, we save the image as a PNG file for importing into Sony Vegas. We're now going to create a series of flashing arrows so that we create the impression of the atmospheric pressure pushing and the vacuum pulling the train. We drag the arrow onto the timeline and using the pan and crop tool move it to the extreme right hand side of the screen. A second arrow is placed on the track below and this is moved to just in front of the first image. To create the impression of movement, we paste a further three copies of each arrow along the line. In order to make the background transparent, we add a green colour board, which will be used for the chroma key effect. All seems well, so save it and on to the next step. We need to build the images and so first drag the background to the timeline. This is followed by a cutout image of the train which we resize again using the pan and crop tool. Once sized with the piston correctly located in the pipe the train is effectively moved to the starting point. To make it appear to move along the track, we use keyframes and, still in pan and crop mode, move the train to the finish point. The keyframe automatically records the position of the train. Better check it's doing what we expect. And it does. The image of arrows is placed above and we activate the chroma key effect. As before, using pan and crop, the arrows are sized to fit the pipe. In the same mode and using the keyframes, we repeat the exercise to simulate the movement, but this time placing arrows behind the train. The train is panned to the stop position and the keyframe set so the arrow rests just behind it. If all goes according to plan, the arrow will appear to push the train. A second arrow image is added and the exercise is repeated, but this time with the arrows placed in front of the train. 
All that remains now is to review the animation to see if it really does demonstrate how the atmospheric propulsion system worked.